Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of a neat thing for new FPV flyers. This is the Ishin E013 uh, Small Pepper uh, FPV Bundle Kit. <laughs> okay, this is being offered by Banggood. What you get with this is actually a FPV, FPV uh, whoop clone. Now it only has a uh, 6G, um, what, the, what do they call that? Uh, <laughs> angle mode. Um, flight control board in there it does you know it's not programmable in other words you have to use the transmitter that's provided with you and you you only have stabilized mode to fly in but that's fine for, especially for beginner FPV flyers you got to learn you know how to fly through the goggles and that's more than sufficient for beginner FPV flyers um, what you also get bundled if you wish as an option is this Ishin VR006 goggles now the VR06 006 goggles they do have a nice receiver on it and it has a nice scanner on it but the thing is about the VR006 is its picture is you know FPV uh, uh, screen is rather small actually let me turn it on you can probably see that let me find the on button on this thing here turning it on and I'll show you you know it's just going to be a static but right now if we open it up you'll see looking in there you should be able to see that it is a rather small picture you know it's not a widescreen picture it's a little four um, let's go in the shade so you can see it better actually very small picture and I believe it's only four to three it is four to three uh, aspect ratio okay it's not 16 to 9 you know widescreen aspect ratio so with that in mind um, there is another option available let's turn this off for now that you could do right now. Um, you can buy this with just the um, tra or the quadcopter and the transmitter, and you could go as a second option. I would recommend it is the VR007 goggles. Um, they do have a very nice screen. Um, they do have scannability if you hold down the channel selector. But, you know, it's not as good a receiver as you get on the VR006. You get this dual, uh, dual antenna system on the VR006. But then again, if you're just flying these little uh, micro FPV racers, you don't need that. You know, if you're just going to be staying within about, you know, 50 meters, 100 meters, flying around with these little micro FPV racers, this is more than sufficient for you. And you'll have a much more uh, pleasing experience through the goggles. Let me turn this one on and show you the difference. This one has a very good screen inside, wide angle, you know, so you have a better experience with VR006 is what I'm recommending. And also what I would recommend that Banggood consider including bundling this. This is only a few dollars more than the VR006s. So, you know, this would be better for, um, you know, new FPV flyers. They would enjoy it more if you, Banggood, if you had bundled this with your quadcopter, offering a second option of this along with this for those who want you know for those who don't have the bucks but those that can afford spending six dollars more get this <laughs> is what i'm trying to say folks so let's go for a flight of a little pepper uh one thing i forgot to mention let's go over the quadcopter real quick um it is a 40 channel fpv transmitter all in one in there um you can set the frequencies by quick pressing of this button here. The button is exposed actually to show you where you need to press down. Um, you can switch between the bands by a two second press and you can also switch between NTSC and PAL mode by a five, a long, prolonged press. Um, I like to use NTSC because it makes it easier for me to sync up uh, video <laughs> with my video editor. So for today's flight, I will be flying first with the VR006 goggles for a bit. Then I'm gonna land it and fly it with the VR07 goggles give you my impression between the two. Uh, for all of this, I will be recording with my VRD2 Bro goggles. <laughs> they do a good job. <laughs> so let's go for a flight of the uh, Ishin E013 and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I have picture. Oh, boy, is it a bad picture. But I do have picture, and away we go. Let's go fly, start off with this one. So, you know, again, this is made for flying around the house. I got a bit of a wind here picking up. So coming down wind. And again, you know, the, the picture on this is much to be desired <laughs> with this particular model here. Let me go to a higher rate. 
Okay, that's it. I'm calling it quits right there, folks. Uh, the picture is so small on this. Okay, I got the VR2 D2 goggles. I'm going to select high rate. Three. And yes, right away, much, much, much better screen. Here comes the guy with the uh, um, lawnmower. <laughs> but I don't care. Let's go to the air. Much better view. So I strongly recommend, folks, that if you consider this, get yourself the VR006 goggles to go with it. Spend the extra few bucks. You'll have a much better experience, have a much better fly, flight with this thing. It's very controllable now with this. Um, I could hardly see it through the VR006, but the VR007 are excellent goggles for beginners. I guess I'm getting close to its range limit there, so I better bring, bring it in closer. Uh -oh. <laughs> You're around the tree, huh? Yeah. Well, we're back again. Uh, I'm going to stay upwind this time. So going back upwind, we have a bit of a wind. This, this little thing is not the best in the wind, but it would be good indoors yeah, as an indoor flyer. But let's see how far I can go upstream here before I have to just let it float back. Going upwind here. Notice I'm in a different place to flying today. This is the wind blowing it back. Um, and the wind goes and dies on me. <laughs> but uh, we're flying backwards slowly. Again, this is meant for beginner flyers, beginner FPV flyers. It's getting harder and harder to keep it in the air, so its battery is starting to get low here, I can tell. But uh, it's working. Again, meant for first time FPV flyers. It's not very fast, it's not very sippy. I'm in high rate right now trying to fight the wind, but it's going up it, going up the wind. I'm going to go back upwind again and let it blow its back. We'll plop it right about there. And come down a little at higher speed, coming downwind, hopefully. I'm always going to keep an eye on it as we go by. Well, in the tree again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to always keep it away from the tree. So. Going back upwind again. Let's go around that tree there. Oh, I'm in the tree again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Outdoors, this is not the best quadcopter. <laughs> it w works, but you better have a low wind day. And I got a bit of a breeze here coming through here. Let's see if I can go somewhere even more tricky. Let's see if I can do it. I doubt if I can <laughs> with the wind. It's going to fly around the trees in the breeze. Okay, now the wind's calmed down a bit. Maybe I can finish this out, get, pick it up some speed on this thing. Give it more throttle. It's flying for a good long time. I thought it was out of battery power, but it's not. Stay in the air, stay in the air. But I am needing to give it more and more throttle, so its battery probably is getting weak. Coming around this way. Let's go out here. Let's go high worm. Or no, right about there. That's showing the area. And then coming back down. Vortex ring. Don't get stuck in the tree. <laughs> A little bit of vortex ring state coming back down. But yes, definitely you want the VR007 goggles with us, not the six. The six will, uh, okay, I haven't given it full throttle, so its battery's done. We're going to call it quits there, folks. So, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so let me take that from you. Thank you, hon. So, again, that's the flight of the VR, <laughs> of the Ishin E013, first flight of it. Um, do I, yeah, it's bad, it's light is blinking, so it is low battery. Um, again, recommend skipping the VR006, get the VR007, you will thank yourself. It's a much better um, uh, goggles, uh, giving much better picture. So, hope you enjoyed this flight, this is Quadcopter 101, signing out.